Hey guys and welcome to another very exciting tutorial. Have you ever seen those videos where vloggers take their camera underwater or in the caves and suddenly the audio changes and it becomes really dull and atmospheric and it really feels like you're there? That is actually a really easy effect to create in Adobe Premiere Pro and any other editing software that you may have and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how. But now, before I talk your ears off, let's jump right in. Welcome to the wonderful world of Adobe Premiere Pro. I have a brand new empty project here, but I have already imported the file that I'm going to use for this tutorial. As always, if you do want to follow along, you will be able to download this file here, maldives.mp4 from my website. So simply go to surfacedstudio.com forward slash downloads and you'll be able to download this file. Let's grab this clip and drop it onto the new item icon to create a new sequence. And this is just a very short sequence of one of our snorkeling adventures on our honeymoon in the Maldives. And the interesting thing about this clip is that it starts above water, then I jump into the water, do a little bit of snorkeling and I've got you know my GoPro along so I'm filming a whole bunch of underwater footage and at the end I emerge again and I kind of do want the music for this sequence to kind of follow the feel of what is going on. What I want to happen is that I want the music to be nice and clear while I'm still above the surface. Once I dive into the water, I want the music to be kind of muffled and muted. And at the end, just as I emerge, I want the music to brighten and open up again to just kind of give the audience the feeling like they're, like they're with me there on that little adventure. First off, let's drop some music into the sequence though. And I have an MP3 file here from Epidemic Sound called Underwater Stories 3. Unfortunately, because it is licensed, I won't be able to you know, offer this for free for download, but you can use any clip, any piece of music that you might have that you think might suit the sequence. Let me just drag and drop this into my sequence. And I already know I kind of want the tail end of this music piece because it sounds a whole lot nicer. So I'm just going to trim this down and bring that forward. And I might also just lower the volume just a little bit on the music and on the actual audio, let's just rewind and just play back the beginning. Cool, I think that'll work really nice. However, now I want the audio to be kind of muted and muffled the moment I jump into the water. And just in case you're interested, the reason sound underwater sounds so muffled is because high frequency, so really quick and short waves, don't travel well underwater, they just get absorbed. And so only low and dark tones really travel well because they're much more powerful and they can travel underwater. And that's kind of the phenomenon we want to replicate. Obviously for that we will have to use an audio effect. So on the left hand side, come into the effects panel then open up the audio effects and the one I'm looking for is I'm looking for a low pass. A low pass is essentially a filter that lets low frequencies pass through. So it can cut out high frequency and give it this muffled, this really dull kind of feeling. What I'm going to do is I'm now going to drag this effect onto my music clip over on the left hand side in my effects controls. By the way, if you can't see any of these panels, just come to the window, make sure you have the tab enabled so effect controls is what you want with your music selected. And in here, I now have this low pass effect. The low pass effect is super simple. It only has two parameters. It has a bypass, which, which you can disable or enable this effect. And it has a cut of frequencies. Any frequency higher than in this case, 1495 Hertz is going to be cut off. You can change this and bring this down to maybe around the 500 or so. And now if I rewind and play this back and just listen to the audio. Can you hear how much duller the music sounds? Let me disable this low pass for a second. Let's just continue playing. Much brighter, right? So that's with the low pass and that's without the low pass. Cool, so now we know what effect we want to apply and a cutoff of around 500 Hertz is probably good enough to simulate this underwater sound. Now what you need to do is come to the point where I'm actually jumping into the water, right about here, let me just zoom in a little bit. And you wanna get right this point here where the camera is about to dive underwater, then come into the low pass effect. And right now, I don't actually want to cut off any frequency. I wanna start cutting off the frequency here. So first, let me jack this cut off all the way up to the maximum. So right now I'm not filtering anything. The audio of this music track will come through just as it is. Let's enable this little stopwatch icon to set a keyframe. Let's move forward a few frames just until the camera is underwater. And now I'm going to set this cutoff to 500. 
So I'm now animating this cutoff from the maximum, which again, because the low pass filter lets everything below this frequency through, will let all audio through. But then once the camera goes underwater, anything that is higher than 500 hertz, all of the high sounds of this music track are going to be cut off. Let's rewind and play this back and have a listen to what happens as the camera dips underwater. Cool, that's exactly the effect I'm after. Let me zoom out a little bit and come to the end where I re-emerge from the ocean right about here. And again, I just want to go to the exact frame where the camera comes back out of the water. Let's set another keyframe. Just press this little diamond here next to the cutoff. And again, we're still at 500 hertz. So again, we're cutting off everything that is above this frequency. But now if we go forward just a couple of frames to maybe about here, Let's again just jack this up to the absolute maximum. So again, we're letting all of the audio come back in. And now if I rewind just a little bit and play this back. Cool, that was really easy. The awesome thing is that Premiere Pro actually has quite a lot of different audio effects for high passes, low passes, reverbs, distortion, all sorts of other effects that you can apply to your music tracks or your actual audio and then animate to come in and out of your video to match up with the situation you're in. This can greatly enhance the experience for your audience as the subtle or not so subtle changes in audio really help make your viewers feel immersed in the video. And fortunately, this technique is super easy. Well, and that's all there is to it. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you could give it a thumbs up, favorite it, and share it with the world. If you do want to see some of the cool making and visual effects tutorials just like this one, and you're new here, please consider subscribing. And as always, if you do have any comments, questions, or suggestions, just leave them down in the section below. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, I will see you later.